Hi guys, so uh, we are now on day nine of recovery and day nine was discharge day. Amazing, um, a little bit sooner than we expected, but it was great. The nurses came in in the morning uh, to wake us up. We kind of had an idea that it was going to be, you know, next few days, but they were like, oh, you're going home today. And we were a bit like, uh, are we? Yes, that's good. We waited around in the morning, started sort of packing our things. The doctors came in and took out Jamie's stitches. Um, which is also good news because we didn't know, we don't now have to come back to the hospital to get them out in a couple of days. So it means once we're discharged, we should just be able to, to have a few days in Hanover and then this will make our way home at the weekend, hopefully. So yeah, that was good. So we started packing up our things as we were waiting for paperwork, sort of sat in the room, decided to go for a walk and we ended up around the corner at the hotel at the bar to have a cheeky beer. So this is before discharge, which is a little bit naughty, um, but it was nice for Jamie to, to get out and yes, he had his first cheeky beer. Okay, so it is nine days since major brain surgery. I technically have not been discharged. <laughs> <laughs> Although the paperwork is in the process at the moment. Um, yeah, day nine, I'm in a pub. This is the start of the science experiment. Effects of beer after brain surgery. Stay tuned. So after that, we went back to the hospital. We, again, we were just waiting for paperwork. We had to go up to um, book an appointment with Bert Lanfey before we left. As we went up there, however, we bumped into him. So he sort of took us into the office and had a kind of discharge meeting. He, yeah, progress, he was, like, sort of was really, really pleased with still. Everything was going as well as we could have hoped for. His eye tracking, still slow, but getting there. Um, double vision is still there, a little bit tingling in his, his hands and his lips, particularly when he gets a bit tired or hungry, but that's all getting better every day. So in terms of aftercare, after today, there isn't really any. We don't know if I was sort of expecting maybe a little bit more physio or things to go away with, but all they've sort of said is if, if he's in pain, to have some paracetamol. But other than that, that's pretty much it. We have to get an MRI in about three months time to sort of, and use that as a sort of a baseline. Um, so we can send that, we get the images and we can send them to Bertil Lanfey, he'll, he'll have a look and then use it as a baseline to track over the next couple of years to make sure that nothing develops and that everything is okay. And yeah, so annual MRIs after that. And then after about five years, uh, one MRI every 18 months to two years, um, that'll pretty much be probably forever just to keep, a, keep tabs on things. But yeah, so other than paracetamol for pain, there's absolutely no aftercare, which I... I don't know what I was expecting, but it kind of surprises me that we're sort of walking out of the hospital today with, with, with nothing. But that's good. It's a good thing, I suppose. Yeah, it just kind of feels like we're a little bit on our own now. About to leave. How do you feel? I'm kind of sad, actually. Good, good. good to get out. I didn't think I'd get out this quick. Um, but yeah, this place is amazing. Yeah, it is. You, you find yourself in this situation. We had to find somewhere to stay tonight, which was difficult. We didn't think we were going to have anywhere at first because it's so last minute and for some reason everything in Hanover seems to be booked. Um, finally got a hotel, however, just you know, last minute, so that's sorted. Got a taxi to the hotel, crazy, like, Grand Theft Auto kind of taxi ride to the hotel. Jamie found that a bit difficult just because his eyes are obviously still a little bit slow and all he's done so far is have a little wander around outside the hospital, so moving at speed was quite difficult. He started feeling a bit queasy and sort of had to look, look down and just find it hard to track things going on around him. But yeah, we got to the hotel and then our hunt for an awesome burger started. So I am finally discharged from the INI. I've not just escaped across the road for a cheeky beer. We've got to stick around in Hanover for a couple of days as a precaution, just in case anything untowards happens. Shouldn't do, but the professor wants it, so we'll 
We'll go by the professor's words. Now, as much as I love the INI and the food in the INI is really, really good, it's really tasty, it is incredibly healthy. And since I've got my appetite back, the only thing that I have been craving for the past couple of days is a dirty burger. So I've come here, Duke's Burger, the best Hanover bar, Hanover burger bar. It also have, beats the uh, pot noodles that I've been living off. <laughs> to have their best burger, which is the chili cheese burger. I have no idea how much I've been wanting this. Mm. Chili cheese fries. Mezzo mix. I am. Mezzo mix. Sour cream. Give me all the food. All the food. You don't eat mitts off my chips. Mitts off your chips. We got chatting to a guy at dinner, mm. just a local guy, sat with us um, outside and said, you know, there's a big festival going on in Hanover this weekend, which is weird. So it was basically, I don't know, actually, it was just a 24 hour thing. So all around the city, there were just little, like, sort of stages and, you know, beer vans and lots of sort of crowds and things. So after dinner, we had a wander through the, uh, the centre of Hanover, which was really, really cool. Just loads of like random bars and sort of random stages around, which was nice. A little bit crowded. So again, a little bit much for Jamie after a while. So we headed off back to the hotel, but really pleasant, lovely weather. And yeah, nice to have a bit of freedom. First night of freedom was really, really, really nice. And that's day nine, discharge. We're out in the real world. It's quite scary. So if you care, share. And again, if you're going through something similar, please comment it below and, you know, share your experiences of surgery or any of the concerns that you have about surgery. Um, any questions that people have, we'd love to help. Um, since we're sort of out the other side of it now. Thanks.